What's up guys? Um, it is Monday now and we are headed to Edgar's. Um, I just thought stop calling it Edgar's and start calling it Street Cat's Garage because y'all are gonna know guys. He's gonna, you know, when the car's done, you know, that's that's who's gonna have all the credit. But anyways, we're heading over there right now. Uh, we're gonna start shaving everything off of the bay and prepping it today, hopefully. Maybe we'll lay down some primer today. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna film as we go because I don't really have anything planned. Um, I was hoping to have those wheels already on the car, but it didn't work out because the bore, the bore was too small for, you know, this car. But I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Street Cat's Garage. All right, guys, I forgot. To We're here at Street Cat's Garage. I actually forgot to mention yesterday, I remembered that I had a set. So if y'all see that, we have LEDs. This is actually the, the car that I've had yellow lights in the longest for. If y'all know me, I do LED everything. But it's a little quick upgrade for the car. So everything, all these little studs are gonna be coming out. I think I came to the conclusion that we're gonna leave these on both sides. Just in case I need to install a catch can or anything um, that I need to put on there. This will stay for now. So maybe I have a better idea of where to put a coolant ball. But other than that, we're gonna start grinding all these studs off right now. headquarters um so this car is just kind of giving me it's not i don't know the wiring is really jacked up i found another break and another one of the wires right here kind of loosely put it back together but i'm gonna get ready to take them off from here and there so i can bring it up here in front of me and not be right here by this radiator hose since i just turned the car on and i'm gonna put them back together the power wire is um bare as well so i'm sure that can be good for the car so i'm gonna pull this off real quick and then see if i can splice those wires together that wire for the alternator and then the power one cover it up because that's no good right, guys, so we have the wires off now this is the main power wire um if y'all can see there it's a uh, bear and then this is the one that connects to the little small terminal over there. I'm guessing it's like the ground. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to take this off. It's just sliding back and forth. And I'm going to cut this part down a little further back so I can get this wire exposed. And so I can crimp these two together. And then cover this one up with some electrical tape and call it a night. I don't know. This car, this car just pisses me off because it starts sometimes what well, you know most of the time it'll start and then sometimes it just won't start at all at all at all it won't even crank or nothing so i'm i mean i'm, I'm i know that the wiring on this is pretty much you know excuse my language but fucked um the previous owner or whoever did this wiring really really jacked it up so 
What I'm going to try to do is source myself a 16 valve harness, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be nearly impossible, but I'm sure someone has one. Um, and maybe when I paint the car, pull the engine out, get everything resprayed, get the harness tucked and everything and ran right. And then we'll have us a nice little engine bay here, resprayed car, you know what I mean? Just what I'm doing with the Mark III, do it with this one, but you know, once I'm done with the Mark III, but let me cut that little end off and cut the, this wire back a little bit and then start working on those wires. I'm covering them up together. Um, I know this probably isn't the best way to fix this, but it's way better that it being connected and protected than it not being even connected at all. So let me just wrap this up real quick and plug them in and plug the battery back in and I should be done. I'll put the bumper on and the grill right now too. We might throw the badgeless one on. See, depending how I like it. Right, guys, I put the wires back on and I already pushed them as far back that way as I could because I'm pretty sure what happened is they got caught on the fan. So that should be good. I'm gonna connect the battery terminals back and just put the bat bumper on grill on and we should be good. Sorry guys, if you're looking at my ass. Oh, it's totally not the intention. Oh. Okay. Put that on. Go. Now, connect the lights. To be honest with you guys, I'm not too sure if that grill, the badgeless one really works. I think the ta some of the tabs are broken, but I'm still gonna try it. goes the bumper and the turn signals it's the first time I have the bumper on since 
I got hit. So yeah, all the top tabs on this grill are broken. That's great. So they don't really, they won't really hold on, I guess. What do y'all think? Bad to grill the move or not? I don't know. I don't really like it. Plus, it doesn't hold well. We're gonna get the OG grill. Now, whenever she hit me, she did break these two tabs this one and this one I believe which sucks but it is what it is vivir por la raza that for some reason I feel like it's not staying on which it probably isn't but I don't think I have zip ties on me they're in the blue car Two tiny zip ties. I don't think they're gonna hold on to anything actually. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. It's alright, it's alright. Put the battery terminals back on. And she should start right up again, just like she did earlier. Um, just honestly kind of annoying because this morning she left me stranded. Um, but it is what it is. There you go. Beware the noise. Think about those headlights i think they look badass i love leds if y'all know me um one of the side marker on the passenger side went out so i'm gonna have to go get me a bulb from the jetta because i have all my bulbs in the jetta um but other than that clear side and turns will be ordered along with maybe new headlights for the car we'll see but um I guess for now, guys, uh, we probably will be going back to Edgar's tomorrow. Um, we'll be but leaving the video off here. Um, thank you guys for the support. If you guys are excited about the Jettas, um, you know, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting on the videos. It helps a lot. Um, and yeah, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next video.